and welcome to this two-minute tutorial on stamina. Stamina is defined as a measure of resistance to fatigue during, during prolonged duration, moderate intensity, such as sub-threshold, exercise. Units are in percent of maximum, 0 to 100 percent, although most individuals will fall in the range of 70 to 90 percent. Stamina can be seen in the top right hand side of the hero bar. And here we see this athlete has a stamina of 81. Visually, if you look at a power duration curve, stamina is the representation of the drop off as the curve begins to drop as you've extended past your TTE, your time to exhaustion. And let's just use one hour as a simple approximation. So it basically shows the rate of drop off. So if you had a stamina of 100%, you would have no drop off. Obviously that's probably uh, impossible, but that is the percentage measurement that you're seeing. It is the power you're sustaining in prolonged steady state effort. How do we measure stamina? Stamina is an output of the power duration model, which is based off your mean maximal power. What does stamina do? Stamina gives insight into extended steady state resistance to fatigue. So for athletes participating in longer events, whether that's Ironman or, or marathon or um, ultras, uh, mountain bike marathon, things like that, knowing your stamina data, how long you can sustain, will give you excellent insight into your resistance to fatigue. Um, by knowing that stamina, it also allows us to measure the dose and response of extended steady state training formats. I know I'm not saying you should just train steady state to build your stamina, but my point is it allows you to measure the response of attempting to improve and extend your steady state. And finally, stamina gives insight into performance expectations of pacing over time. If I know because of my training or lack of that my stamina is a little bit lower, I might approach a race or an event differently than when I'm pretty fit and my stamina is higher. That is stamina.